I have made my familiar and my slave. You must help me regain supreme power. Whatever you command, oh mistress. I cannot rest until my ambitions are achieved. Power, total power is my destiny. The name, quickly, of that foolish mountebank frustrates my purpose. That load. But what does he have that I want? The bracelet. Yes, the lodestone that will lead me to the... Scarabaeus. The Scarabaeus. Periaptic circle of total power. Bram, we must find Laszlo somewhere within Delta Time and keep the Scarabaeus from him until he dies. Then both will be mine. Laszlo, are you here? Laszlo. Ah, there you are, my boy. Splendid, splendid. Got here safely, then. Where are we? <coughs> Underneath. Underneath what? Oh, no, you're not going to ask a lot of pointless questions, are you? I can't bear people who keep asking questions all the time. What are you doing? There you are, you see, there you go again. Laszlo, you asked me to help you. You got me into Look, this. Look, I am trying to get you out of it. I'm trying to get us both out of it. Now, you might show a little gratitude. Gratitude? Well, I don't expect you to humble yourself, but you should show a little appreciation of the efforts I'm making on your behalf. Laszlo, I'm going green. That's your fault. Oh, yes, so you are. Still, never mind. I mean, you've a long way to go before you're green all over. Hmm? And what happens then? Uh, hmm? When I'm green all over. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. But I do worry about it. I am worrying about it. What happens? Well, nothing particularly serious happens. I mean, you, uh, you just die. That's all. You're balmy. Look at your own hand. Hmm? Oh, shouldn't we find a doctor? Yes, we should. Wait. I am a doctor. What? Dr. Jekyll. Don't you recognize me? Laszlo, we're here to look for the Scarabaeus. Precisely, John. Phil. Phil. But, I mean, there's no point in just sort of poking around hither and thither, willy-nilly in every little nook and cranny, is there? I mean, we'll never find it that way. Well, then how? Oh, intelligence, my dear boy. By using my higher powers. In that case, we'll never find it. Oh, don't you underestimate Dr. Jekyll. All I have to do, my boy, is to drink this potion and turn myself into Mr. Hyde. Hyde? Why? Somebody coming? He's a character in a book. He had a hairy face and was really evil. You insufferable boy. I've told you, this is Delta type. Things are very different here. Mm, so I've noticed. Excuse me. Anyway, the beauty of this plan is that Hyde runs a fencing crib. What's a fencing crib? Oh, don't they, don't they teach you anything useful at school these days? A fencing crib is a place where thieves and pickpockets sell the things that they steal. I get it. And you think they'll turn up with the scarabaeus? Well, no, that's the plan. I am sure that it's close at hand. I've had a distinct tingle from the bracelet. And that is a sure sign, hmm? Oh, dear. Oh, we're getting rather low on Eye of Newt. Eye of what? Newt! Yeah, there should be enough here, though. 
It's one of the most essential ingredients in all the most potent potions. More essential, say, than, uh, well, bat's blood or root of mandrake, for instance. Watch this. Oh, 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 oh. Well, here goes. Laszlo, hmm? is that really necessary? I mean, can't you just pretend to be Miss R? No, of course we can't. We must do this properly. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. No, you see, I mean, Bello might still be on our tracks. Hmm? Now, if I take this, she won't recognise me, will she? Oh, I can't wait. Round the lips, through the gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can feel it going right down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so hard. <laughs> Oh, no. That's a right. Is there anything I can do? Uh, yes. Uh, would you just pop along and see if you can get me some more newts? Uh, take a jar. They're slippery things. You... Oh, no. Would tadpoles do it a pinch? Uh, I suppose you know what you're doing. That's a face now. Absolutely horrible. Oh, I must have made the mixture too strong. <laughs> oh. You pitiful fool. Do you think these ginger whiskers deceive me? Oh, please, Bill, get me out. No. Please, Bill. Oh, oh, God, it's cold in here. Please, oh, how can you treat a brother wizard like this? Whining wretch, how dare you call yourself a wizard? You are a contemptible, third-rate little conjurer. Conjurer? Me a conjurer? No, you've done it, Bill. What's this? Scarabaeum, Maltem, Regulamus, Flambus! Simpleton, now you are out of your element, I can deal with you. <laughs> Gone, you blockhead, to the four winds disperse. Ah, oh, still I cannot hold it. Why? She nearly got me that time. I didn't realise my own strength. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> you keep away from me. No, don't be stupid. Don't you recognise me? It's your old friend, Laszlo. You're not Laszlo. He's just ordinary ugly. You're hideous. Oh, it's my disguise, you stupid. But look, I told you I was going to change myself. Well, you didn't tell me you were going to change into that. Yeah, well, I think I might have made the mixture a bit too strong. Still, never mind. It'll probably wear off. Leave it to me, eh? How do I know this isn't one of Bellor's tricks, appearing out of nowhere like that? All right, all right, if you don't believe me, look at the bracelet, eh? What bracelet? Well, this bra... Oh, here. Here, I, I must have dropped the bracelet when I escaped from Bellor. The key to finding the Scarabaeus and you've lost it. Skin, bone, pelt, whisker. Join me here, my old familiar. Oh, yes, I like this. Very nice. <laughs> A very cosy little gaff, madam. <laughs> Anyone we know? Leave that alone. Uh, where are we? A place of necromancy, I rather fancy. Dr. Jekyll's laboratory. Oh. But he won't be needing it again, or my name's not Fanny Hyde. Fanny Hyde? Wait and see. First, pick up the bracelet. Ah. <gasps> now. Listen carefully. Goes rather well on my wrist. I said listen. I am, madam, all ears. Go down to the stews and rookeries of the city and tell everyone there's going to be a party at Hyde's fencing crib. Good, I like parties. Tell them Mr. Hyde has gone away on business and in his absence, Mrs. Hyde will be paying double prices for all trinkets, jewellery, gold and silverware, watches and silk pieces. Do you understand? Double prices. Can you afford it? Expense is no object. I must have the scarabay. Oh, of course. The periaptic circle. <laughs> Done for Laszlo, have you? Completely and utterly. <laughs> His atoms are scattered to the four winds. There is no one now to stand in my way. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. 
and the eyes. Hey, go, Brian Murray. Tell them all there'll be food and drink and plenty. I'll grow impatient for the scarabayers. Yes, and this is I. <laughs> Your bracelet back. Well, Bello can't hold it. I expect that evil little minion of hers will have it. Bram. Yeah, but he's no problem. Just leave him to me, eh? You've got to find him first. This place is like a rabbit warren. <laughs> Somebody's coming. Quick, hide. <laughs> Get up, you winking world. Put your feet. Come on, over here. Come on. Sit down there. They must be some of Hyde's gang. I wonder where they're taking that girl. Well, there's only one way to find out. Come on, let's take a look. Sit down, my girl. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> These riddles is fit for King Billy himself, Mrs. I. Yeah, go and keep your strength up, eh, fat me? Yeah. You never tasted nothing to suck in us. Your own <laughs> receipt. I'll be bound, eh, Mrs. I? Of Hyde? course. Um, She's a wonderful cook, your mistress, I'll say that for her. Yeah, nothing gets wasted here. <laughs> nothing at all. Well, it's a queer place, this, though, isn't it? Yes. What's that in this old jar? Oh, pickle things. Pickles? Oh, pickle things. Oh. Uh, bits and pieces, this and that. <coughs> Mrs. Hyde is practising the black arts. Nah, go on. It's a fact, and she's very good at it. I've seen her turn a dead mouse into a meat pie. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Here, Bram, over here, bring the bracelet. Ha. Nothing, mistress. It ain't silver neither. Chef of your plate wouldn't give you a tanner for it. Say your comments. Well, well, well. What have we here? A pretty little picture, ain't she? Get up. Mrs. Arty wants to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Graham's got the bracelet. I mean the girl. I've got to help her. What's your name, child? Adelaide Lewis, Mum. Please, Mum, I want to go home. Not in one piece you won't, my little beauty. Not if they hang Jack Carter tomorrow. Nah, they'll never hang Jack Carter. That rogue sheet of the morning drop this past ten years. I only have it again if I can do what. You see, Mrs Hyde, this little chitterling is the Lord Mayor's girl. I've sent word that if Jack gets it, the kid gets it. <laughs> you dunder-headed oaf! Half the China Street pigs in town must be out looking for this kid. You brought her here. No, look, Mrs. Hyde, I don't... Oh, what's Jack to you, anyway? Ain't no mate of yours. The foxy cove done me down, Mrs. Hyde. He's got valuables as his mind by rights. What valuables? It was silver. A great sack of silver. Jack and me done this big panning over Cheapside, see? And then the servants clocked us. Jack had it away with the swag and left me to fight me way out. Silver, eh? He knows where it is. He must have stashed it somewhere, Mrs. Hyde. Oh, maybe we should keep hold of the girl till we've had a little talk with Jack. Right. <laughs> Will they let him free? Not official. But many's the cove they've let slip when the price was right. I reckon this little mort's worth a bag of gold to the Lord Mayor. <laughs> I've got an idea. But where are you going? You just lie low. We've got to help her escape. Oh. <laughs> Come on, lads. Let's try this way. Ah, what's that? It's the peelers, they're on to us. Quick, all of you out to the back. What about the girl? Oh, I'll deal with her. Oh, she's a Now, as for you. Oh, I see you're free, you little mink. Eat me, will ya? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sharp eyes to see you now, my girl. Hello, little man. Oh! Well, it's not that bad, is it? Who's there? Hey! So where have you been? I have been recovering my purloined property. A face like this has its uses. Bram! Bram, where are you? 
What are you doing down there? Get up! Oh, 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 madam, it's you. Oh, let's leave this place at once, I beg you. I have just seen the most terrible apparition. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, horrible face, glaring eyes, a monster of depravity, madam. Where is that bracelet? <laughs> bracelet? Oh, oh, that creature must have taken it. He had horrible teeth, <laughs> ginger whiskers. You fool! That was Laszlo! I thought I'd seen the last of him. No. How has he escaped me again? It wasn't Laszlo. I know Laszlo. Oh, this was a veritable fiend, madam, of the most ghoulish appearance. Oh, I tell you, it was Laszlo, oh. and now you've let him get the bracelet back, you sniveling wretch. <laughs> but I shall find her. Go and fetch those cutthroats. Oh. I'll set the pack on him. When they've done their work, what's left won't feed a cat. Go on, you fool! Oh! I'm getting as dead as this from the place that the scarab bears must be close at hand. Just take a look. Oh, forget the scarab bears for a moment. What about the girl? What girl? This girl. <laughs> her name's Adelaide. Well, she's a bit small for her age, isn't she? Well, she's not like that normally. It's something Bella did to her. Didn't you see? Oh, the old miniaturization smell. Yeah! Hello, little girl. Yeah, how things in Thailand? Laszlo, this is no time for jokes. We've got to help her. Ow. Well, lift the spell or something. You're the magician. Now, wait, this is pretty advanced stuff. I didn't finish my studies at school. You see, I had to go to work. Lasley, you can try, can't you? We can't just leave her like this. Well, it'll probably wear off after a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? Look, that size, she can be in by a spider or anything. All right, then. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, I wish she'd stop crying. I can't concentrate. Shut up! I mean, if she carries on like this, she might disappear altogether. Adelaide, stop crying. Laszlo's trying to help. Yeah, no, 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 no. Right, Grimpus, Grampus, Astrakhan, Barragan. Oh, dear. I, well, I've had some success with warts with that, you know. Well, try again. Why? Have you got warts? No, I haven't. All right. But look, I'll tell you what. Reversing spells is not easy. So what I'm going to do is to try a reverse incantation. Well, anything. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Neil Remroy and his mask can play some darkness. Nasty. Yarn, hood, hood, and stilly old. Sarf and the good steer. Here, what's favour backwards? Ruavath. Ruavath! I did it! I did it! I, the master magician! Did you see that then? Stop boasting and help me get it down. Oh, yeah. Now, come on. It's all right, all right. Just, that's right. Now, wait, I'll take that off. Yes. <gasps> there we are. Better now, eh? Better You're now. all right? Yes, I think so. Oh, <sighs> don't be afraid of him. That's just a borrowed face. Oh. Why? I wouldn't want to borrow it. No, he's a magician. Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? I am the, the best. I am the master magician. But you may call me sir or, or highness if you prefer it. Well, I, I'm very grateful to you. It was awful being small. What sort of magician are you? Now, she's it. I am the best sort. You ask my young assistant here. Uh, you couldn't make us disappear right now, could you? <laughs> well, well, look here. Oh, no, thanks. I'd rather not. I? Well, let me just look at you. I mean, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but really, really, that's the most indescribably ugly face I've ever seen. <laughs> Hawk, who's talking? Now, my, my face has a certain majestic grandeur. Yours, I'm forced to say it, would not look out of place on the corner of a church. Lazar, cut it out. All right, matey, I'm going to have you with onions. <laughs> Leave him till my mistress gets here. Well, she's in no hurry, I see. Oh, you should give up now, Laszlo. Your poultry powers are no match for hers. Poultry? You call my powers poultry? I'll give you poultry. Oh, poultry! Oh, yeah, poultry. Yeah. And pigeons as well, if you like. Go on, little bird! He's ah, a sorcerer, ah, Tom! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I've seen such jack night. Tricks of the fair. So you know this insolent cur, eh? Oh, he's a cheap bounty bank and a sworn enemy of my mistress. Call his army bounty bank, though, donkey brain. They love all that medieval stuff, you know. Who's a blackamoor with him? Call his name blackamoor! Sorry? What say, lads? We'll not wait for Mistress Hyde. Let's string these gulls up and let some air into their tripe and light. Stand back! Oh. I'll turn you all in the net eject too. Oh, pay no heed. Get him, my bullies. All right, then. You force my hand. Scarabaeum, multiplicity balmoa. Clones. Oh, that's great, lads. They'll keep it up and there'll be hundreds of them. Give yeah, it us a plan. Escape while he's confused. Quick, off you go. Run for it, go! Oh. Well, feel the air in here. There's no way past. What 
What's happened now? My mistress, it's Laszlo. He's trapped us. Laszlo, does he think he could deter me? Oh, oh don't stand there gaping long, Tom. You look like a stranded codfish. She's the black art, Tom. Mrs. Hyde's been studying. Where's that girl you had with you? Well, she ran off Mrs. Hyde with her mother to pass that wall what we couldn't see. Well, on with your fine. <laughs> That's strange, and I'm still getting a steady zizz from my bracelet. I've had it all the time. Well, what's the range of that thing? Well, it varies. What is this place, anyway? Oh, well, it uh, used to be a Roman bar, full of splashing centurions. <laughs> I remember popping in here myself once. What for? Well, for a bath, of course. One denarius and bring your own towel. Eh? <laughs> hey, Leslie, we found something here. It's pretty old by the look of it. Yeah, that's old. <laughs> that's oil. Used by the Romans. What, like bath oil? Didn't they have soap? Oh, no, no. They used soap on their clothes and the oil all over their bodies. That's why the emperor was called Julius Greaser. Ah, Caesar. Not in Delta. Yeah, hey, look. There's something else over here. <gasps> hey, that's a shaving mirror. Listen. It's Bella with that gang. <laughs> Quick, in the ventilation. Run, Emily, run. Help, follow me. Get back after the mummy now. Oh. I need that girl. Head or alive? Now you two stay with me. Bram, take the others and search the cave. Come on. Oh. Come on, then. Come. There are quite a few rat holes here where someone could be hiding. Oh, it is true. The mort's small enough to squeeze in anywhere. Get on. What's that smell? Well, don't look at me. It's beer. And I can feel a draft coming between these bricks. Oh, Adelaide, have you got my knife? What are you going to do? Make a hole big enough for Adelaide to get through. Oh, I see. <laughs> Quiet. Are you right, Phil? Someone down there. You better take off that shawl. The mighty Laszlo. Mighty Laszlo? Ha! This is something new. You wish to test my powers again, Bellor? Your powers, Laszlo? <laughs> 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 oh, I just held it. Oh, oh send the oh, oh. Yes, yeah, all right, now hurry. Thanks, Bellor. Okay, quickly, I put it up, Laszlo. It's here. Um, Come on, where? Adelaide Shaw. We get it. <laughs> oh, Phil. The Scarabaeus. That's why I was dizzy all the time we were with Adelaide. <laughs> I deny you the Scarabaeus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes, Laszlo. You will never escape me. Delta time is my domain. I shall follow you wherever you go and watch you rot until you are no more. <laughs> Come on, Phil. It's a race against slime. Oh. <laughs> 